Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will demonstrate the procedure to solve the problem of uh, projection of uh, planes. So here the plane is inclined to both the principal planes. So as you will see, so the, the statement says that it is a rectangular plate 150 mm length and 100 mm width. So the second line says that the surface makes an angle, makes an inclination of 30 degree to HP. Now here the surface makes an inclination to HP. So initially we will be able to give this inclination uh, in the HP. So if we have uh, the front view as a line. So we should take the initial position in such a way that the, the, uh, the front view becomes a line. And also so we are given that uh, the true dimensions of the uh, rectangular plate are uh, 150 and 100. So, as usual, so we start with the, the uh, that initial position in which we have the true shape. So, we need line view in uh, uh, front view and we need uh, that uh, true shape in the top view from uh, to start with. So, we will start with the true shape here. So, we will use you see how we proceed. So first of all the width is 100 and uh, we have uh, the length as 150. So as the one grid space is equal to 25 mm we have completed its uh, top view. So the line is considered to be lying in horizontal plane. So its top view is coming out to be exactly the true shape. So, we will label the points. The top view points are labeled as uh, A, B, C, D and we will have uh, now the front view will be between these two lines because the line the, because the plane is lying in HP. So, we will label the front view also. So, this is A dash, this is B dash also and we have similar way the other point C dash and also the D dash. This way we complete the first uh, stage. Now, for the second stage what we need to do is we need to give it an inclination. So, what we will do, we will move this thing with certain base point and we will move it here. So, our front view has been uh, moved so that we can go to the second stage. So, because in the second stage we need to give it give an inclination. So, we will join these two points with another line. We will now rotate this line around AB side which will be retained in HP but rest of the thing will be lifted up. So, by how much angle we should rotate? By 30 degree which is the surface inclination. So, our uh, surface inclination comes out like this. Now, from this point we drop the perpendiculars from end of from the end of this line again we drop the perpendicular. It is not on grid and uh, here our ortho let us switch on the ortho so that gives us by f8 command that gives us the new location of it is up to the end so we type line up to the end so we get the line here similar way we can copy this particular line with this as the base edge 
and have it here now we can trim the rest of the portion so with this as the cutting edge we can trim this we can trim this we don't need that construction line so this is the new top view after it has been inclined with the HP so a b so similar way c d also copy and we can new c d we have so this is uh, the second stage still you see we have uh, one more thing that is the smaller side makes an inclination of 60 degree to VP so how to satisfy that condition so that to satisfy that condition so the smaller side one of the smaller side which is in HP so that same side at present is making a 90 degree angle with XY line so it is making 90 degree angle with VP we have to make it rotate so that it makes 60 degree angle so what we do do we copy whole thing we take this as the base point somewhere and we move it like this now we shall have to rotate it in the new position we take somewhere the base point so the base point we can take either here and we will rotate it by 30 degree because finally it has to make an angle off so also should be off so this is the angle so we see it is crossing so but its actual position in the top view that is not fixed what we can do is we can move the object so that it doesn't cross the xy line it will be convenient for us so this way we little bit move it now from the end points a we shall get the position of a from end point b so which the end point b we will get by intersection command from here again f8 we do and uh, it will be up to this point so these uh, on from the other side we are getting the a dash and b dash also so this is the position of a dash the other one is the position of b dash okay so two points we could locate directly f9 we can switch off so that we can locate it easily now from this point again we have an uh, an ortho line a perpendicular line again from here from c we can have a perpendicular line like this now these are the projections of us uh, where uh, these are the vertical locus of uh, d dash and c dash the horizontal locus of uh, d dash and c dash will start from here line uh, end this is line from the end because it is at the end intersection is not there so here we have the horizontal locus of new c dash d dash so our new c dash d dash can be located so according to c and c will match c and c dash will match and d and d dash should match so this way we get the new positions we can complete their uh, f8 will make the ortho off again and we have this position then we have from this point up to the intersection of this so now we can trim off whatever is not required so these are the things which we finally need and what are the things we don't need we don't need this one 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 and this one 
okay so so we can totally 